agitation and abstraction. Cubism used two-dimensional imagery in order to communicate three-dimensional shapes, depicting an image from multiple viewpoints but often on a flat plane. The image appears abstracted and divided into geometrical shapes or cubes. It was a breakaway from the method of using perspective to create distance and depth that had been used since the Renaissance. Cubism could be seen as the beginning of all abstract art and the heart of modernism. It made painting new and developed into futurism, the Dadaist and Surrealist and Vorticist movements. Like Lokt, Glees was not considered at the forefront of Cubism. The movement was initially discovered by Brack and Picasso in 1907. It was thought that Lokt and Glees then theorised Cubism. It was said by some that Glees' paintings look less like paintings and more like geometric diagrams of paintings. Though he did provide Jellet with the tools to develop her painting within this new genre of abstract art and bring that to Ireland. When Jellet and Hone first approached Glees for lessons, he initially refused, using his friendship with Lote as an excuse. But after extensive conversations with them, he changed his mind. His lessons were very different to that of Lote. They were more collaborative. They had approached him wanting to learn his method to abstract cubism. Through working with them, it caused him to consider his methods and formalise how he approached his practice. It could be seen that the three were learning together. He discussed how this time with Jellet and Hone made him more aware of the method behind his own work, remarking, I had therefore to analyse step by step the course of my own act of painting to follow myself and at the same time to record any movements. I distinguished two characteristics which allowed the surface of the picture to be subdivided without organically changing the nature of it. I called them translation and rotation.